Alright guys, we have Kung Fu Panda 2, another movie reaction, finally continuing this trilogy. Uh, the first one really surprised me. I didn't think it would be that good, but it was pretty spectacular. Um, yeah, a bit of a nice surprise, uh, subversion of my expectations. And looking forward to seeing how they continue the story this time. Don't know if they'll get into Poe's origin or not, because he still thinks that Goose? Duck? I don't know what it is. He still thinks that's his biological father, which... My god. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. If you want to watch the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Uh, leave a like, really helps out my channel, and let's get started. Gong Once Meng. their son, Lord Shen, saw darker power in the fireworks. Gunpowder. What a Shen's troubled parents consulted a soothsayer. She foretold he would be defeated by a warrior of black and white. <laughs> Oh. The young lord. Ah. Oh, he attacked all of them? He's straight up committed genocide and you banish him? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Premaster must find his path. How you do that? To inner peace. Uh-huh. Is that why pandas are endangered? I knew it! The feathers are metal, too? Whoa! That is a cool fighting style. <laughs> that is the way to inner peace. Just yell it. I just found out that my dad isn't really my dad. Your dad, the goose. Ha! <laughs> the goose. That must have been quite a shock. Is defeated by a warrior of black and white. Nothing has changed. It's impossible. And you know it. It is not impossible, and he knows it. Ooh. Watch that! I saw a panda! Where's Pam? How come there's a guy that big? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. So that was stealth mode, huh? Uh, let's be honest, not one of my stronger modes. One! Hey, hey. Nice work, Oh. Master! <gasps> the ferocious Master Croc! Come on, you guys! Yeah! We're coming for you, Shen! Woohoo! <laughs> Listen to yourself. You're protecting Gongman City by not protecting Gongman City? If we all fight together. Then the weapon would kill everyone. Me out of here! Yes, sir! <sighs> Stop him! <Yeah. laughs> they turn the tides quickly. Yeah! They've learned some good teamwork though, right? And captured. Holy crap. What are you gonna do now? We surrender! <laughs> he sounds so intimidating right now, but he's just struggling. Struggling. Oh, people are carrying him. <laughs> oh, we only heard about Master Rhino a few days ago, and we came to avenge him. You've come to avenge nothing else? Lockpick. You know what? <laughs> What's so funny? There's many things that you clearly do not know. Oh. oh. Get the weapon. Nicely done. 
Hot damn. That's it? Mission accomplished? Oh! You were there. Yes. Yes, I was. He froze. The only way out is up. We just came from up. I thought you were gonna jump later. Holy crap! Okay. They somehow survived that. You had Shen. What happened? What are you talking about? What are, I don't know what, what you're talking about. I, yeah. I, okay, he caught me off guard. The truth. He was there. Okay? The peacock was there the last time I saw my parents. Tigers, no! Oh, Kung Fu Hog. Did he just hit his mouth? Just, oh, of course, do you understand. Oh. The cup you choose to fill has no bottom. It is time to stop this madness. The cup you choose to fill. My parents hated me. They loved you. They loved you so much that having to send you away killed them. Set the soothsayer free. She's no use to me. Tell me what happened that night. Yes, I watched as your parents abandoned you. It's a terrible thing. I abandoned. When something like this. Oh. Here's your New Year's gift. Hope you like it, because you can't return it. What's he doing here? Oh. Return it! Return it! <laughs> no more oh. running, So it seems your parents didn't love you. But here, let me heal you. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! oh, that's very far away. What is this place? I'm surprised you remember so little. So there are no more pandas anywhere? Take our son. It's still here. Ooh. Ooh. Stuff a radish in his mouth. And she left to draw him away. This is a sad story. Holy crap. They were caught. Such sad, sad faces. How, how many times do I have to kill the same stinking panda? <laughs> Shen! A panda stands between you and your destiny. What? Uh Okay. Take it! <laughs> That was silly. Uh. Nice. He's here. Shifu. Tigress, no! <sighs> Inner peace. Is he gonna turn the frickin' cannonball back at them? You're joking! There we go. What? 
There we go. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. That was pretty cool. The only thing that matters is what you choose to be now. You're right. Then I choose this. To be a murderer. Is he about to die? He closed his eyes and let it happen. It seems you have found inner peace at such a young age. <laughs> Radishes. <laughs> Aww. Dung. I know who I am. I'm your son. <laughs> oh. They rebuilt. Oh. And Kung Fu Panda 3, come to theaters near you. I enjoyed this film quite a lot. I think the first one surprised me with how good it was, and then this one met my new heightened expectations, which I think is an achievement in and of itself. Um, I do feel like we haven't really gotten to know too much of the personalities of the other masters, but the movie still works despite that. Uh, the one with the most development or the most focus is probably Master Tigress, and in the movie we know Master Shifu... In the first movie, we knew that Master Shifu showed Tai Lung a lot of love and encouragement, only for Tai Lung to turn around and betray him. And so Master Shifu raised Master Tigress, and I assume the other master is quite coldly. But then in this movie, we see Poe uh, we see Poe hug her, and she's at a total loss for what to do. Uh, Mister Master Crane's mouth, beak, whatever it it completely drops, and no one is really sure how to react, and I mean, she's just frozen, she's completely frozen, um, and that tracks with what we know in the first movie, even though it's really sad, because it seems like she never got any form of affection or physical reaffirmment. Um, my point is that there's actually like some nice continuity there, uh, nice to see in any franchise. Uh, but also, given how strict Shifu had been, uh, how no-nonsense he was before Poe came into his life, it was nice seeing the other masters get to chill out a bit and have more fun. Uh, the first shot of the masters in this film was Poe stuffing his face with the bean buns, and they all have like such serious looks on their faces, cheering him on. You could do it. <laughs> um, and it was cool seeing Master Shifu grow too. His heart was wrecked by Tai Lung's betrayal, and he even said, emphasized extremely hard that Poe showing up was the worst damn day of his life. Uh, super funny, but. Partially because he trained Poe, Shifu was able to reach inner peace, and then he was in turn able to start passing on that knowledge to Poe, so it was, everything comes full circle. Um, but yeah, Poe had, had his own things to conquer in order to reach inner peace. His childhood, he barely remembered it, but Shen raided his village to kill all the pandas. Can't imagine what it'd be like to work through childhood trauma on that level. Um, but yeah, he went to his dad for answers, uh, the goose, the dad goose, dad admitted to Poe that he was adopted, and Poe was like, I knew it, I knew it, as if that was like a huge revelation, like, it shouldn't have been something you ever fell for, Poe, <laughs> you're a panda, you're a freaking panda, uh, I mean, I'm guessing sex education in the animal kingdom just isn't as comprehensive as it needs to be, uh, they're probably holding, like, abstinence-only workshops and, all right, I'll stop. Um, but yeah, Poe's journey, finding out everything that happened to his family, sets him free. It's a horrible, horrible truth that he finds out, but simply knowing allows him to find peace. And, uh, turns out it's not, not actually the truth, though, because, yeah, a bunch of the pandas survived. I don't know how many pandas Shen actually killed, but there's enough for a village to survive, so it's not like one of the two of them, like, scurried away or anything. Um, but yeah, maybe Shen's, uh, genocide is why there are why pandas are so endangered now, right? In the real world? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a rogue peacock teamed up with some wolves to commit genocide on them. That's just such a shame for... <sighs> wow. Um, but yeah, little things about this movie are fun. Like, half half of Master Crane's role on the team is to, like, hold onto Poe and glide him down wherever he needs to go. Uh, that is a strong freaking bird, though. Cranes tend to be, like, 10 pounds, and pandas around, I want to say, 250. Um... So that'd be like a 200 pound person walking around with 5,000 pounds like it's nothing. So yeah, Master Crane, very, very strong <laughs> for his size, especially. Um, and they all seem to have some good teamwork going. Definitely cool to see. 
uh, Poe was like calling them out, like each one of them uh, working together, and then he held out the bunny who was he was supposed to be protecting. Bunny, what? Um, yeah, a lot of good humor. The humor is on on point as usual, uh, like the first film, and uh, the goose dad constantly worrying about Poe, even though he's the dragon warrior. You're going to a strange city filled with strange people and strange noodles. This goose with his freaking noodles. That's such a... <laughs> it's like Bubba Gump with noodles instead of shrimp. Um, but yeah, this movie actually gets pretty dark too. We had some like pretty brutal deaths. They're not actually shown on screen, but like... Master Thundering Rhino getting cannoned to death. And then Shen being crushed completely uh, by the mast of the ship. Um, and yeah, during my reaction I said... It seemed like Shen like accepted his death in that moment. Like he was so filled with hate for so so long, so filled with anger, and in that moment he actually accepts the death. He doesn't even try to get away. He closes his eyes. Uh, it wasn't like he was like bracing for a huge blow. He let it happen. So I don't know. That feels like something that's gonna stick with me for a while, actually. Um, and maybe I, I I feel like I might be reading too much into this. But after a lifetime of hatred and anger maybe letting go was better maybe it felt easier i don't know but uh yeah that final battle was something else though especially after poe finds inner peace and is able to use it to turn the cannonballs back at the ship i was a little impatient i will admit like he just learned how to harness inner peace and like stop the cannonballs and i was like throw it back at the ships and i was like but like obviously he had to get used to it and after a while he was able to throw them back at the ships um but yeah, awesome, awesome moment. Also, very nice detail that cannons were first invented in China, too. So that's just like a little bit of uh, history that just ties in perfectly with the fake history in this film. Uh, but yeah, my big question about the movie is, how is Exile Shen's only punishment for con committing genocide? I don't... Like, that's ridiculous. Like, let's just send him away and allow him to prepare to murder more people. Like, so irresponsible, right? Uh, I mean... He somehow failed to kill them, so it's not like he's actually guilty, though I don't know how many he actually killed, if he killed any. Um, but yeah, he, he absolutely meant to kill all of them, so I don't know. Throw him in jail for life. Don't let him roam free. Have some responsibility to the rest of the world. Like, I also don't know if the wolf army hurt or killed anyone while they raided villagers for, uh, raided, raided villagers for scrap metal. I'm guessing yes, absolutely. But I'm just like, how do you just let this genocidal maniac free? Uh, that, that, that was the most frustrating thing of the film um, but yeah thankfully the pandas are okay some of them are at least uh, I don't know how many survived but it's enough for a village we said uh, so we saw Poe's dad there at the end who's some who, and he's somehow able to sense that his son is alive I don't know if his mother is alive and how did they make Shen think they had all been massacred when they were still mostly okay I suppose we'll find out next film one more thing about Shen and him closing his eyes and accepting his fate. I wonder how much of that had to do with the fact that he was he spent most of his life fueled by anger, by hate, by fear. Um, because that's it sounds exhausting to live like that. And I don't know, maybe in some way when he saw the pillar falling, he accepted his death because the alternative, continuing to live that way, would not have been satisfying at all. And that's a very bad, very sad thing to think about, but it is kind of fitting with the very dark tone of this movie as well. Anyway, I'm going to give this movie an 8.5, looking forward to the last movie in the trilogy. Quick note though, for, th for some reason, with this series, with this movie series, I have several people who have been commenting non-stop for me to continue, and those of you who were around during the Game of Thrones days uh, know that I hate being told what to do, so... Yeah, having this person comment 15 times, do Kung Fu Panda 2, uh, might have slowed my release of this reaction. I just kept kicking it down the uh, the street, essentially. Um, anyway, guys, uh, if you do want to see the next movie sooner, though, what you can do is leave a like. I plan on doing Kung Fu Panda 3 sometime down the line, but if this gets to 1,000 likes, I'll do it immediately. So that's a compromise for you guys. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to see the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, friends.